Good morning, sunshine people. How y'all doing? Hi, y'all doing today? Well, today is Friday, so it's turn up time. Whether you turn up for the Lord or whether you turn up for the devil, it's turn up time. But I'm hoping you turn it up for the right reason, and that'll be God. But anywho, what's cracker lacking out there in this world? How y'all doing? How was y'all day today? You know, um, mine's, I went to the doctor. You know, I had to get that, um, I'm not gonna run this light. I'm gonna be good and not run this light. But I went to the doctor to get checked. You know, when I told you about my little problem I had when I went to go do that little physical thing. So, she said, it could be, uh, what, bladder infection. You know, why is you not turning? Anyway, see, it's when I got that thing checked. You feel what I'm saying? It, 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 that's trick ass me. When you pee, do it burn. Lady, what, you, what are you trying to say? I said, no, ma'am, it doesn't. But my kidneys, my back, my low back hurts. You get what I'm saying? So, ain't it? I haven't had bread, but some starving. I did have a little of this. A little bit. So I'm gonna drink some of this. Take my medicine with because I haven't had breakfast. And I need to stop somewhere and grab me some breakfast. Okay. It's a nice car. So I don't know. Did I hear my medicine go? Lord, let me take this medicine. Don't make my stomach hurt. <laughs> okay. Don't let my stomach hurt. Is this the turning line? I'm in the wrong lane all the way. All the way. Oh, I'm about to go another direction. But I think I could have went to Sam's that way. I think I could have. Mm -hmm. mm. Basically, I believe you just ran the whole night. When you living in Florida, or if you if anybody decide to come to Florida, you best to believe you better be on your P's and Q's with this traffic. Now, baby, they will run you over. They will run you over. I'm in the area of Dr. Phillip. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dr. Phillip. It's not lower class. Ain't nothing lower class over here. Somewhere in this, no, in the metro area. I just left the metro area. And, you know, Shakir has a house over in that area. Now, where about? Me don't know. I stopped my video. I didn't mean to stop it. Dang it. But anywho. And it took me five minutes and 29 seconds to get from Metro to Dr. Phillip. I probably go by the flea market. You know? I don't know. Um, I moved to Florida in 2017 and didn't know anything about Florida. Didn't know where nothing was at. So I was pretty much lost. You get what I'm saying? I moved here. My husband went back to Georgia to uh, finish working. And I stayed home and got the house straightened out and found me a job. But I got out and 
and, and rode around. You know, and I just rode, went, got out and rode around. And I um, Google, you know, Google stuff, direction, where to go, and where places was at. I did that by myself because I didn't want to be shot up in the house. Not knowing when he coming home or when he gonna retire, as if they gonna make a difference. And it didn't because um, we don't go nowhere anyway. Now he's retired, we don't go nowhere. Every blue moon we make, you know, hit the streets or whatever, you know. But it is what it is. So, like I was saying, I Google a lot of stuff to find where I was going. And I'm like, oh, your puss on bad. Oh, something real simple. And I'm like, um, I can't get lost. So I just adventure by myself. I really, really adventure. I didn't know whether I was in a bad area, good area. I learned a lot of places when I started working with this uh, special needs young lady and I met um, this lady named Roberta and Roberta told me a lot of stuff and then Mr. Ernest that's the grandfather and he would you know he took me places as well and I you know looked at my surroundings and looked at the streets and I learned I learned how to get around and now I can go to a place and I know where I'm at. So it took me a, probably six months to a year to know my location. Excuse me. Oh, you burp, you get that stuff off your stomach. Oh, we. They gonna know the Corvette. But and look, he just got it. But yeah. Hey, Roberta, and everybody else. I found my way around, you guys. I found my way around. And I need to get over. I normally been on got over already. I'll get over when I get down here a little farther. I can get over now. Thank goodness people drive slow. That give me some time to get my silver. <laughs> but in that way, I had time to get over. But I'm back over here by my old job. I'm about to get ready to get on I-4. And take it home. And I haven't had breakfast. At least this will sit on my stomach until I get home. I think I'm going to go and take a nap. I think that's what I'm going to do. Clean up. Straighten up. Oh, I could have took you. I didn't even see you in the signal light on. But like I said, you have to be careful. You have to be careful out here. They will run you over. They will literally run you over. <laughs> How about y'all boys subscribe to my channel hit like, comment, and notification button? And let's become friends. And then I subscribe to your channel and I tell someone about you. But if you're coming on my channel looking, and you subscribe to my channel and you leave a comment or just leave your YouTube channel name at the bottom and I go and subscribe to it. I don't have a problem with that. It's milk. Gloop sugar. Hungry smart. Stinks. Tastes good but it stinks. I'm sleeping, guys.
I'm going to play my numbers. Heck, I'm, a I'm looking for these, and here they go. Save three dollars. I'm just looking for I am and here it go. I think I'm gonna get strawberry. I'm gonna go when I go pick up my medication, I get another one of these. I get another one. I want some food. Got these. You know what one here? Eight dollars and seventy-three cents. Three piece, seven fifty-nine, seven dollar fifty-nine cent. Mac and cheese were forty-nine cent. Subtotal were eight dollars and eight cents. With tax, sixty-five cent. Came out to be one hundred seventy-three dollars. A hundred and seventy-three dollars came out to be eight dollars and seventy-three cents. I gave her a ten. She gave me a dollar and some change. Dollar twenty-seven cents back. That fish is it, it just expensive. Oh, yes. I forgot I wanted to come over here and look at these houses. Because I said if I win the lotto, it's the area I'm moving to. I'm about a house for me and my daughter and my grandbaby. Well, my other grandkids as well. So let me hop over here in this lane so I can show you these beautiful homes. I should have been fancy and came over here in the Corvette. As Jay would say, Jay would. Yeah. <laughs> it be. When that cat's a meow. And you get that job, or you hit that lotto, or you get that blessing. Y'all yeah. don't pay me no attention. How crazy is, crazy I am. What's on the radio? And this one. Winning alert, I'm going to pause this video. So I can show you guys the place I want to move to. Okay? So, for now... Peace. You might want to listen to Agnes. I would refer optimal tech. Okay, okay, guys. This is it. That's my house I said I wanted. This my house I said I wanted. Have nobody moved in it. It's a private residence, so somebody may have bought it already. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Move in quick. They is coming along with these houses. Private residence. Somebody thinks somebody bought it. If it's a private, somebody bought it already. Okay. This is where I want to move it. In this area. I really, really did. Y'all, you get so sick and tired of seeing these things right here. They just take over the road. So if you guys... Want to move to Florida? This is Dr. Phillip is the place to move. Everything is over in this area. They got a new truck. This is the place. Oh man, they front is going to be they side. Oh boy, look at this one. Look at this mansion here. This is going to be a house for you. Whoa. I like that that little house, how that little gate was in there. They got a Range Rover backed up in there. 
Some of these houses have pool. Some of them don't. You even got more lots available. Oh, I love that double doors. See the gate? Nice, nice. See all the land? You still got land to build by you buy your land. This gonna be a U-turn. I don't know if anybody live there or not. I'm not gonna take a chance and go there. Violate no one privacy. Cause I don't know. And this is the back. This is the back, guys. And more spots. Over here. You can put your home there. But look at the back, guys. This is the back of the houses. Like I say, some have pools, some of them don't. You know? But I was like, if I hit the lotto, this is the area I want to live. And I would probably buy me a spot over here. Have a home built. Towards the woods. But they're going to tear them down anyway. They're going to tear them down anyway. Let me take this turn. Or this truck come. And let me pause. Nice. This is nice. Nice. They put a home there. They put them so close. And one catch on fire. Chances are yours gonna catch on fire too. Two door, two garage, two garage. Fit multiple cars in there. Oh, this is gonna be a circle. These are small, so these not gonna be probably no more than three hundred thousand. But the other one's gonna probably be about seven or eight hundred thousand or more. Let me move this sign at the dang old blasting way. And it look like we, it's gonna rain. Look like it. Look like it. Look like it. These guys up here are working. They are working, mine. That's all they do is eat. Oh, they proved it small. They are working they ain't off. The Mexican gonna work now. But they are building around right here. So if you guys decide this is the place, this is the office you go in and it says coming soon. And people have already moved in here. I would let you know. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe the main office. I don't know. But this is it, guys. Philip Rowe. So, anybody interesting? She's wide open, scratching her head anybody interested in purchasing a home that's the spot where well, actually anywhere in Florida is the spot in a nice area not just that area is this the propose nah I don't read nah he just sitting there lot of dotting. He riding his bike. He should be safe. He's not in the road. Because they will run him over. You can believe that. 
Hidden Valley. That's a trailer park for um, senior citizen. I need to go to that building back there. Get some Botox in my face. This place over here, as you see, that's a church for the um, Israel, Jews, the Indians, or somebody, the one wear them long dresses. Israel. That's what that all about. That's their church. They, and they go to church on Saturdays. And they be in uniform. They have on a long dress. I'm calling it a dress. It's not a, you know, it's not a dress, but that's what I'm going to call it. And look how clear the road is. Because everybody's at work. You better work it. No one's on the streets, no traffic. So I get home in a decent time. Looks like I got on the air. Where my time gonna be running out shortly, so. Just show you a little sample of Florida. Yeah, you better go ride me, friend, because hey, they going slow and so am I. And don't like that lane gonna go any faster. You got chilies, macrogria, Caesars. Shonies, yes, they see have a Shonies. You see it? They still have a Shonies. Why are you stopping? Get through the light. Get through the light. If you don't have your single lights on, I'm assuming. You're not trying to get in this lane. Okay, you look like we kind of congested here. As you can see, you got the gift shop. You see Dennis. Well, there's Dennis to your left. And you did see the gift shop on the right. See this person here being very courtesy of turning doing a single lights, but <clears throat> being here in Florida and you turning your single lights on, they're not gonna let you in. Like this van not letting this car in. They're not gonna let you in. You turn your single lights on. So when you get ready to get over in a jam like this, don't turn them on. Don't even turn them on. Cause them cats ain't gonna let you in there. Let's see, Grandpa, I turned mine on. Grandpa driving slow. So, by him driving slow, I hit my single light. Let him know I'm getting over. But anytime you at a standstill, don't turn your single lights on. Cause they not gonna let you in. True fact. True fact. Now I'm ready to get on four and um get it home so I can eat. Is the light green? Cause at the light green, I'm hoping they go ahead and go. Okay, here go the fun part. Look at all the traffic. Ooh, traffic. We'll see how they drive out here. It's crazy. This is the life of living in Florida. 
And if you look to the right, you'll see the staple, that little small gray staple. That's uh, castle. That's um, a motel. It's downtown Disney is a motel, but also you can do applications there for jobs as well. You surely can. And I'm driving, so I did want to show you guys something, but I'm driving, so I really, really, really like cannot focus on stuff like I want to. I really can't. I will go downtown, I mean, go to Disney, but they're doing construction work there, so I don't want to get caught up in that traffic. They're building um, another um, place to where people that has wheelchairs and people that uh, have kids with stroller, they're going to have their own lane. They got to go to another checkout area because they, since they have wheelchairs and strollers and coolers that they bring in with them, they have to go to another checkpoint. They're building another checkpoint. So people that, you know, kids are walking and don't have pack, you know, uh, coolers and stuff like that, they have a different checkpoint. So I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. And you know what? I should... No, I can't. I can. I was going to say I should go to SeaWorld, but SeaWorld is behind me. So I ain't nowhere in the world. I'm going to turn back around to go to SeaWorld. But SeaWorld is so far behind me. That's not going to happen. Okay, I got an 18-wheeler coming up. And he's riding. So eventually he's going to have to stop. My Aunt Granddad. Don't you think about coming over this way. Traffic is going pretty fair so far. It really, really is. I think I'm going to take exit 6 or 7. Take y'all through uh, Kissimmee. Take you guys through Kissimmee let you guys see old time. traffic is moving pretty good no wrecks or anything nobody side the road um it's going pretty good speed limit is 65 as you can see some areas 70 Just because that light turned, that don't mean that it's safe to go. Because they still will hit you. 
they still will hit you and once they hit you they will not stop they will keep going and then there you laying on the floor on the I mean on the ground in bad condition or maybe a little bump or whatever but please be careful because they do not and they will not stop still act like you in a car still act like you in a car when you um crossing the street I have seen people quite a few times had the right of way and the car still go it could be uh, anything could be because they don't give them nothing or they not paying attention and they did they distract them so be careful be careful don't say I didn't tell you because if it happened, I always remember you go back to this channel and you can say that lady did say that. And I'm telling you this because I love you. And don't even know you, but I love you. And I want you to be safe when you come to Florida and enjoy yourself, have fun, take those babies out. You don't have to take them to no fancy restaurant uh, or nothing. You can go little places and be careful of these... Um, gators and stuff, you know. Be careful. So you got Epcot Mag Magic Kingdom and you have Hollywood Studio and this World of Sports. But I'm taking East 192 Kissimmee because I'm going home. But that, all that stuff is downtown Disney as well. Yeah, And I'm just waiting on my husband to uh, print out the tickets for Universal. Because personal, I could have went to Universal by myself. I don't even need him to go. I get on the rides by myself. I don't even have to eat. I just take me some of the snack. And you know? I can have water. I'm okay. Okay, now I got to try to get over in a safe way, in a safe manner, manner way. And this white van is like really going slow. So I am going to get in front of that white van. I use my single lights. Because like I said, if I was at a steady still traffic, I would not because they won't let you in. But the traffic is moving, so therefore, I can uh, use my single light to be on the safe side. And I'm looking at my time, and I'm at 20. So with that being said, I'm about to stop this video. I don't want it to be a long video. You get what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody going to sit here and look at it. You know, 30 minutes. I wish I could see a gator. So I could video it. And let you guys see it. So it's not 60 anymore because you get ready to come into um shopping store area. You get what I'm saying? Do that make sense? And we're about to be close by old time, so I'm gonna pause until this light turns green. Okay. Hoping you guys can get a good glimpse. Let me turn it better way a little bit. And you'll be getting ready to see old times shortly. You got Joe's Crab Shack. Yay! Joe's Crab Shack. You have Chick fil A. You have the 7 Eleven store. Matter of fact, I will get over some more. You got the swimming tower. Um, passed it already because I really don't have it focused on it. Okay, we're about to get ready to come up to um, old time. You guys see, if it was night, it'd be so beautiful. Yeah, get on in front of me. You see the Ferris wheel. You have the um. Give shop over there. But 
Facebook page. There's old time. In case anybody want to go and take your family there, it's pretty reasonable. You have a lot of rides. It's nice. You got it surrounded by stores. I mean, restaurants. They just built that one if you can catch it. Then you got Burger King. Curtis Jones. Okay, I'm about to do it all the way. You got Red Lobster. 